Crojo Corner. My name is Laura and today we will be opening some crochet Happy Mail. I'm excited to see what's inside the box and the envelope I must admit I did open already. This is from Doris from Rose Cottage Studio. She is one of the sweetest ladies you'll ever meet and if you haven't subscribed to her yet I'll link her channel down below and it's a Christmas card. Look, it says, Merry Crocheting and Happy New Yarn. Dear Laura, Merry Christmas, Doris. And I really appreciate you thinking of me, Doris. Thank you so much. You are always such a blessing to the crochet community. And it just warms my heart that you just are so kind. And um, I'm really glad to know you and call you a friend. Thank you, Doris. Now, this is a box from Helen H. from Texas. And um, I do believe this is a submission. Um of the chapstick holders that I had a giveaway for just recently, but these were received after the deadline for the giveaway, but she sent them anyway, and I can't wait to see what's inside. And if you are interested in participating in my Help the Homeless giveaways, I do have one going right now in December of 2021. And if you would like to check it out, I will link that down below and I will post the video right here. So with that being said, let's dive into the box. Okay, there's a card in here. Let's check it out. The Lord bless you and keep you and be gracious to you. Laura, I made eight lip balm holders. You are amazing. You have such a loving heart for others. Thanks for all you do. Love and hugs, Helen J. That is so sweet. Thank you so much, Helen. That's so kind of you. I really appreciate your kind words. I really appreciate you sending in these chapstick holders. Oh my goodness, these are so pretty. And um, I will go ahead and send these in with the submissions for the giveaway that I have going right now. So I'm just going to hold on to these and send them in to the uh, Bethel Church of Gary um, with the next submissions. So... I just wanted to let you know that. These are so pretty. Thank you so much. And I love the little clips that you put on there. I really appreciate that, Helen. Some of you have been asking about my shoulder and it is still frozen. My right one is still frozen. I kind of look like a T-Rex when I'm trying to do things. My daughter and my husband had to help me with the Christmas tree this year because I can't lift my one arm up all the way. So I've been going to physical therapy a couple of times a week and I got a cortisone shot a couple of weeks ago in my shoulder. I think I can move my arm a little bit better. My left shoulder started acting up a little bit too. So I was afraid that I was going to get frozen shoulder in that, but I've been working with that and icing it a lot and just praying that it doesn't continue because I guess sometimes if you have it in one it can happen to the other and it's a whole big thing and it happens a lot with women in their 50s <laughs> so yay 50s woohoo but anyways with that being said I just wanted to give everybody an update I am feeling a little bit better so we'll see how this goes I'm going to continue physical therapy and hopefully things will just improve and I can get back to crocheting because I really really miss it so I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Helen. And thank you, Doris. I really appreciate you both for all you've done. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye. Check it out. I have a new Patreon tier for only $2 a month. Go to patreon.com slash Corner. If you have trouble sleeping, check out my new channel, Soul Candy Cafe. Rain sounds and meditation music to help you sleep.